a hearse Run in they mouth and disrespect the south And poke it, grab your knife, we finna feel of some coffins Niggas can't understand when we coming through in the streets I'm getting high as hell off some killer ass sweets Busting at these niggas, squeezing on my trigger Pokey 3030 so you know that boy bigger Bigger than the rest, stress on his chest Better wear your vest cause the nigga ain't gon' forget nothing Pressing the button on the switch I'm coming through, ain't born now, nasty bitch Hoes talking dying, disrespected me I fist to come through, swinging on the fucking three With the low pro and the on the low the fucking ground, no more pops around. I'm fist to come down in the maze. Big fucking blaze. Laid back on my leather web, besides the shade. Tim cut up on the motherfucking fade. And when I come through, got to stay paid. Never had AIDS, don't have a shit. Because I'm coming through school, click, looking thick. Looking thick as hell with the boys from the clothes. Made it in the game What's up, y'all? This Slab OG's TV. Back at it again with another interview. Today, we got an OG up in here. And we got somebody, you know, that been killing the streets in the city of Houston. You know what I'm saying? Everything he pull out, you know what I'm saying? Classy and fancy. So, you know what I'm saying? Tell us where y'all from and who y'all are. Jay Bates. Cadillac Mac. Dead end. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised in the dead end. South Bank showed me the game. You know what I'm saying? A lot of different things. Uncle, you know what I'm saying? Uncle D. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uncle D. P Funk, Persian Street, baby. Already, already. And, man, can y'all tell us, you know what I'm saying, how it was coming up, you know, in, in y'all younger days, you know what I'm saying, the 80s, the 90s? Uh, you know, what, what was the South Side like? What was South Park like, you know, in the 80s and 90s coming up? Man, really, you know, you could catch them boys coming down, MCs and Grand Prix, just heist up on gangster white walls. Mm -hmm. 30s won't really out yet, you know what I'm saying? So my favorite. Like 79, 80? About in the 70s, baby. Okay, we're in the You know 70s. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, my thing was to go to Gulf Gate Skating Ring and sit back and just watch Love You Blue Station Wagon, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Blue, Black Tenant Wonders, Baskets. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. was the shit to me, just to see it, you know? Mm -hmm. It'll be out there every Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, that's where I came from before the 30s came. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, man, see, me being born in 82, I was right there in the beginning stages of this shit, you know what I'm saying? That first generation, you know what I'm talking about? I got to watch this shit as a little kid. I mean, you know, the other kids, they outside playing, they, playing curb, basketball, different shit like that. I'm sitting there, I'm watching my people down the street. They fucking with the ball, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They in the front yard, cutting Hollywood, nigga cutting up boards for six by nine, going across the back and shit. So I'm peeping and shit, I'm like, man, these balls are cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like the first set I seen was like, shit, I don't think about 87. It was by 87, 88, a nigga raw, a nigga black raw on my street, man, the dead end. Mm -hmm. That boy had a Thunderbird, man, about a 77, 78 Thunderbird long nose. That boy was just swankers and belts, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no bumper kiss and all that, uh, it was just swankers, maybe grill, maybe belts, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That boy used to come down the street, swinging and rocking that hoe backwards. He'd drive from one end of the street to the other end of the street, rocking that whole backwards. I used to be like, man, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? But that boy looking real cool, looking, you know what I'm saying? That boy jamming. That boy rocking that hoe. He jamming that, don't touch that stereo. Don't yeah. touch that stereo. He rocking that hoe back. I'm like, that boy raw, but mean nigga, man. I'm like, man, that shit got crazy. So boys used to come pull up over there to his spot. They six by nine, get that music hooked up. You know, I used to, you know, we used to hook up music and shit in front of y'all and shit. So I used to see ball pulling up and shit. That shit was crazy. So I'm like, God damn. Everybody got these wheels with these spokes on them. They sitting all the way in the ground. They like, they bouncing as they come down the street. I'm like, them ball looking cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, 
know what I'm saying? Them boys like some low riders. You know, that's that low rider shit. So I was around, I was watching Chi Chi Chong and all them, you know what I'm saying, back in the day trying to catch a low rider scene on that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was always into low riders from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then it converted up to the slab and I seen the male balls twirling, you know what I'm saying? You know, when nigga coming up the street, man, that shit nigga looking scary coming up the block. You know, find some nigga jamming, nigga crawling down about two miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Crawling real slow, man. Jamming, mmm, jam. Mmm, looks, man. It was all about having your look game together, man. You couldn't just be coming out and just driving that shit now, nah, man. You had to have your look game together, man. Yeah. You seen that shit in the beginning, man. Yeah. And you know this, we we being in South Park right now. You know what I'm saying? Was South Park kind of like, you know, that first neighborhood where you saw certain figures? You know, you got everybody that was coming through and everything. So can you just just explain some of the people that was riding? You know what I'm saying during this time? Like if you was to go on MLK on a Sunday, who would you see coming down the street? See, I used to go with my mama, my aunt and them and shit. Herman Park on a Sunday. McGregor Park on a Sunday. I remember one time McGregor Park they had a big concert at that motherfucker. The only time they ever had a concert there, one time. It was super fired up. And people everywhere, man. That that curb that go around by that pool and that basketball court, number slabs. Number slabs, everything in the dirt. Hollywood's T tops. I was seeing this shit 87, 88, 89 on a Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I was seeing that shit. That shit was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Then that boy Scarface had that Let Me Roll video shoot, man. McGregor Park, man. Summer, what that? Summer 9 1. But see, we used to go to McGregor Park every day and go swimming and shit. Cause my people next door, they was like the, the person over McGregor Park. It was the swimming pool area, over the basketball court, and all that. They used to feed us with box, white box lunches every day. You know what I'm saying? So we, every morning, 10 o'clock, we shoot up McGregor. So she, you know, on that Friday, maybe a nigga might tip through sitting low, bouncing, man, jamming mean jams, you know what I'm saying? You know, you had to tip through that McGregor, you had to tip through that Herman, you know what I'm saying? You had to come through that North on that, that, that goddamn, uh, what you call it, Park? Uh, Deucing. Deucing Park, all yeah. that. You had to you had to twirl through all that, man. Yeah. yeah. And what was the type of cars I was seeing you know, nowadays? You know, you know, it's 2022, so we see all kind of cars from the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, the new cars that's out right now. So that back first then, generation, man, you were seeing number 77 Regals, 77 Cutlass, Grand Prix, anything in that late 70s. Yeah, Novas and shit like that. Yeah, yeah Nova. Yeah, I remember yeah. my nigga, uh, R.I.P. My nigga Duck had a Nova. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Two don't know. Yeah. Ugly yeah. ass quality. That shit was ugly as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Already, already. And man, you know what I'm saying? Just for the people that's, you know, watching right now, do y'all know who might have been the first person to put, like, a complete slab together? Like, candy, bumper kit, grill, you know what I'm saying? Belts on it. Because every time I always hear about it, Everybody always say Toast was the first one. So was Toast the first one to come down complete? I'm gonna let Owen ask that question. Well, before the bump and grill and all that came, it was just like straight 30s and Vogue's or elbows and Vogue's. Then when the bump and kit and grill came, you had like, my first was like, I'll probably say Toast. Mm -hmm. The first I seen. Mm -hmm. Cause everything them boys did, they was creative down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were just creative ahead yeah. of time. So that was my first. Okay. Toast. Yeah. Okay. And for the viewers out there, some of them might not. Some of them might know. Some of them might know. What was surround by sound? Oh, that's when you had everything coming through the whole system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you playing a video, you could hear it through the whole system. Okay, was that a shop? shop? We talking about the shop surround by sound. Oh, the shop? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the shop. Uh, like, yeah. London, they fucked that shop. You know yeah, that, that was the shop they went uh, to. Yeah. I, was, I was a Texas radio man. That was okay. Salt and Pepper, surround my son. Yeah, I think that's how. Uh, I think that was Salt and Pepper. Yeah. See, boy, I forgot about Salt and Pepper right here on 16, right here. Uh -huh. Do a lot of slabs yeah. right there at Christmas 16. For they sure. did a lot, a lot of shit. That's what I think surround my son used to be at. Is that where he lived? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what the famous picture with blunt hat, 
uh, who they were, three two, the monkey do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The ball's in front of us dropped out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's the fresh shot. And was, was boys was was boys going to shops back then, or was it kind of like, man, we doing this in the driveway? <laughs> it was driveway action when it first came out. Okay. Won't really no shop action. You just had to put your own shit together. So. Yeah, you had to know people, man. You had to know somebody, know somebody, even get a sit. Mm -hmm. That shit was like, like you was about to buy some illegal motherfucking bombs or something. Yeah. You had to know some people, man. You had to know somebody, know somebody. Yeah. Couldn't just get you a sit like that. And I know you grew up across the street from uh, Corey Blunt. Tell me how that was and what you seen, you know what I'm saying, growing up, seeing Corey Blunt across the street from you. Yeah, I'll never forget, okay. When I first met Blunt, that boy, uh, he had the 190 beans. That bitch was canary yellow. That bitch had cheese on the license plate. You know what I'm saying? That bitch was yellow on, I think, like some buck or something. You know what I'm saying? That boy had that wood grain pioneer. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, that boy had that wood grain pioneer with the remote right here. You know what I'm saying? That boy right there. Shout out to Peach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Peach was the other thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That boy pulled up in my grandma house. With him and my Kim folk was cool. My Kim folk, Tina, they, they both went to Sterling together. They went to Thomas and Sterling together. So he was cool with the family with her and her sister. So he thought I would come to my grandma house. So he pulled up one day in that hole, and I was just happened to be outside. That boy was jamming at like a funky piano. Dun, dun. King T. Dun, dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. yeah, that boy was jamming, man. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, that boy was clean up. I'm like, this little baby being holy. I'm like, God damn, I'm like, what's up, bro? I'm like, man, this is a bad moment. He said, you like that, young? I said, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, man, can I sit in there? He said, yeah, go on, sit in there, man. You know what I'm saying? I sat in there, man. I looked all around. I'm like, man, so this is how it go, man. Yeah. So it's that orange side, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I looked at the radio, hit that volume a little bit, jammed that punk piano a little bit, man, while you talk to my cousin. You know what I'm saying? I think he had like some little equalizers in there, man. I got to adjust the next bar because I already knew how to play with this shit because my uh, ain't and uncle had, I mean, my ain't and boyfriend had a Delta, and he had the Kenwood preamp with the EQ and all this, so I already knew how to play with that bar. So I got in that bar shit, played with it. I'm still sitting there jamming. Then that bar, I guess he seen how it was getting louder, you know what I'm saying? I bar looked over there. I was like, shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, can't open that door. I say, man, that, that's what's up, man. Boy, turn it down a little bit, man. My grandma started tripping and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was the first time I met him, you know what I'm saying? Then he used to always come through the block. He'd pull up in that nigga, that nigga pulled up in that damn roast back in Tyler, man. Nah, fuck that. First time I seen that motherfucker. It was something wrong with the switches or something on that That's motherfucker. the one that was on the switches. Yeah, man, that bitch had. Cause he had took the foes out, good. He didn't want them hoes to clack, so he went. He put this and he put epics on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And that bitch still was on switches. But that nigga came down the street one day. He was flying. But you know, my street is the street everybody turn on to connect to go back to either going back towards Savinsky. See, he stayed on the other side of MLK. I'm, we on the opposite side of MLK, right across from each other. So he was coming down the street flying, but that bitch was going like this. That bitch was just, was just, was just going like that. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? That nigga car. You know what I'm saying? So after that, man, that boy pulled back up again, man. We was all outside hooping. He used to come over there and holler at my, at my people, uh, Black Ed, you know what I'm saying? He come holler at him. He pulled up in that bitch again, man. Boy, that boy was just that boy playing with that hoe, coming down the street, playing with that hoe. Then he got to us and slammed that hoe in the dirt and jumped out. Hey, what's up, baby? What's up, y'all? I said, man, you a flusser. Man, this hoe, that was my first time seeing it up close. I had been seeing it parked at the high. That nigga used to have that hoe parked on the side of the street. Everything, ain't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that nigga, uh, nigga say, what's up, baby? I jumped, man. What's up, man? I said, y'all sitting here. I sat in that bitch. I seen them switches. You had them switches. He had only probably like six switches. I grabbed one of them all right. That bitch, zoop. I was like, oh, I was like, hey, 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 but hey, nah, 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 Jay, you can't, you know what I'm saying, you don't know what you're doing, baby, you gotta come on, I said, nah, I know what I'm doing, baby, you know what I'm saying, he said, nah, 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 come on, come on, come on, let's talk to me, bro, and I said, that's a bit, that's a bit, I said, man, this was holding, man, wine, beer, and that bitch had, like, white at the top, with white insides, with a big-ass pop in that hoe, popped yeah. up, big pop in that hoe, on switches, 
I mean, one day, me and my grandma going to church, man. We coming down, cuddling by Watkins. That boy was coming down four deep in that bitch, man. Three wheels coming down, cuddling <laughs> on three. And my yeah. grandma like, baby, what's wrong with this car? Why is it like that? Yeah. It's supposed to be on the ground. I said, nah, grandma, that boy three wheel motion. Boy coming down, boy coming down, cuddling, tipping on three. Yeah. Good, man. Man, everybody that, you know, I'm a little bit younger, so everybody my my age, you know what I'm saying, they always hear about how Blunt was riding in middle school. Was, was he really yeah. riding in middle school? When I, yeah, when I, I had a little saber. When I had first like a little saber. Yeah. That was a little saber. That was a photo of a saber. That was like an 80 model of a saber. Like an 82, 83, 84. Like park, though, man. I thought that was anyway, a saber. I just heard about him just how he stunned all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. And one time I heard 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 him say, uh, Blunt just just put another set of elbows on his car. He paid a thousand for him, right? Mm -hmm. So I never heard of nobody paying a thousand for a set of set of threes, you know. They what were mean? like seven, eight hundred, yeah. six, so, seven hundred. Yeah. So when I heard during the time I heard that. That's when I called out my homeboy from the dead end, Michael Savoy. And I mm. copped him for a thousand. Cause I ain't want to do no looking. I ain't want to do no waiting. I just straight, man, I'm gonna you a thousand for, for him. You know what I'm saying? Corey was the first one I heard paid a thousand for a set of threes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, and it was always four, five, six hundred. Yeah, and I think yeah. that was his only set of threes. But you know what, man. that park. He bought that them. park, cause he, that park was yellow. That's the yeah, one they had dropped yeah, his park in front yeah. of the hide. He bought them threes from that bitch, uh, that bitch was on from threes. uh, Greg McClinton Porsche place. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They had dropped that <laughs> yeah. on in front of the hides. He had it parked on the curb. Like I say, he used to park shit all on the curb back then. You couldn't just. But he was in the dead end circle. He cool. Everybody, you know, no, that's blunt shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thought it was good. They dropped that motherfucking park, man. I remember that shit. Yeah. I was about like 11, 12 years old when that shit happened. Yeah. And it's another name that, you know, a lot of people always speak of, uh, speak of on too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always say Blunt the King, but it's another name I always be hearing. Uh, Condre. Was Condre putting out some cars during oh, this time fun, too? Man. Oh, yeah. They awesome. It was tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, bro. See, boys right. just know about the cab and things. Uh, it's way more than that, man. And I kind of heard that they not necessarily had a few, but it was like one pull, one Corey Blunt pulled out a car. All that shit. Condre pulled out a car. Is that true? Man, you know, they were the brothers, the Gray brothers, man. All them boys had something, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Man, them boys had marble, BMW, TVs in the head, red song. But there was one, two, three courses or something. Yeah. Man, them balls was, man, them balls was marble baby fleet. Them balls had marble that motherfucker, that little cab. Mm -hmm. Man, them balls had the MC. I that heard, I heard, juice. I heard Condre had a, a Bentley on foes. No, that was Rolls Royce, summer nine five. Mm. Them boys put foes on Rolls Royce, man. Yeah. Them boys yeah. coming down summer nine five, sock the shades on, man. On foes. <laughs> I bet boys are tripping when they saw Rose Royce on foes boy, in 1995. Boy, did it. Wasn't no Mike Jones, the first one, and all this shit. Nah. Yeah. So, what's the difference in they builds? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I always hear about them two, Blunt, Corb, I mean, Blunt and uh, Condre, you know what I'm saying? So, what's the difference in they builds? How they build their cars? Is this the difference? It really ain't too much of a difference. Well, it was a difference on that LaCalle. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker had Rolls Royce seats in that bitch. You mm -hmm. don't even know. You just think I'm off some dog seats or something. Nah, he yeah. had Rolls Royce seats in that car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how fly they were. And like, Con, he was a capping motherfucker. Yeah. That nigga was going to be at Texas Radio like, shit, I got 15, 20,000. Nigga, do this trying to get bitch knocking hard in the bitch. Mm -hmm. It's knocking hard on the motherfucker. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That was, was and during, and during this time, you know what I'm saying, we speaking about the 90s. So I know the jacking kind of came during this era too. Can you speak up on like the dangers of riding on elbows in the 90s? You know what I'm saying? These wheels got to a, 
a price that, you know, some people couldn't ride. You know, you had to be a certain type of dude to ride on these wheels. So what was that era like, you know what I'm saying, riding on elbows and, you know, have to have a pistol on you when you ride? <laughs> man, during that era, man, you could see, you could, you could really just tell what was happening, but you really just didn't know. You know, because you know all the cars that ride your hood. You fuck around and see a car ride by and you be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, that same car coming by, speeding with a slab behind it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hey, I so, remember the Bell, I don't mean to cut you off, but yeah. I remember them Bell Arbor boys, you know, 3B boys. Yeah. Bell Arbor, Bell Creole. Man, them boys had walk talkies, man. You know what I'm saying? Car hit the car, hey man, who that is? We don't know who that is, man. You know what I'm saying? Check yeah. one, check two type shit. You know what I'm saying? Them boys had walk talkies on the corner. Yeah. It was getting crazy. Mm -hmm. Niggas was niggas was dying. Niggas was getting killed. There's yeah. so many stories behind that, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and with South Park, kind of like the area, everybody always say, you know, no matter what area, I, you know, interview or whatever, everybody always say South Park had the most elbows. So why did South Park have all the elbows, all the swingers in the city? During that time, you know, during the crack era, man, South Park was the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. South Park was the hood. You know what I'm saying? Every side of town wanted to be like South Park. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Sundays, man, everybody from every side of town coming to this motherfucker. Yeah. They coming to that car wash to see to see the goddamn show that's gonna get put on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It just South Park at the time was niggas was balling out here. You know what I'm saying? They was balling yeah. hard out here, man. Mm -hmm. Especially in my it. territory and dead end, they was on, man. Yeah. You know I got tired of riding my bike up the MLK, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was ready to get off a bike, man. You know, you had niggas coming down like Mario. This Every time I seen this nigga, he had two gals in the front seat, T-tops off. You know what I'm saying? 80 something more the colors. Girl, you know, girl, shit girl like that. Be facing yeah, him shit, yeah. The gals seeing facing him and, and like, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? His curl like down, you. his back. He held the boys like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that ain't this shit. Well, what was happening, man? Was you know what I'm saying? Control, it was, it was, it was a lot of niggas had a lot of lot of <laughs> little techniques back then. Yeah. So you would you say know? South Park was kind of like a trendsetter. Man, you had you had South yeah. Park here at the north side doing their thing. I feel that we set the trend. South Park set the trends for the whole city, man. Cause I, when from I, when the SUC, from the screw music, you know what I'm saying? Cause the niggas that was doing the screws, them niggas had slabs and shit. Cause when and I always interview this. people from Northside, they always say like, yeah, we was putting cars together, but we was kind of sort of like Mickey Mouse and South Park. Was we like, was ahead of time on, on a lot of yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? As far as like popping trunk and all that, we was already doing that shit before them niggas even knew what that shit was, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Lights and neon in the trunk and all that. That shit was space age, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Putting that 90 shit on that shit, that shit was space age doing that back then. Mm -hmm. So it was like, man, you niggas just, you niggas a motherfucker, like, mm -hmm. these niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying? And for one, the niggas are super fly. From the way they talk, act, dress, everything. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The way they drive. That shit meant yeah. a whole lot, man. Mm -hmm. When you was coming through, you had a certain look you had to have, man. You couldn't just be coming through all nerdy looking and shit. All yeah, square you had to hop shit. out of the car looking right. Man, I'm talking about you had to come through looking right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just certain looks, man. The way you grab that wheel, the way you twirl that boy. All that, it was just certain ways you done that shit, man. It wasn't mm -hmm. just a regular way to do it. And that's what made South Park niggas different. Them niggas would just fly like that back then. Them niggas had the jewels, big old pieces and shit. Nigga put, nigga had mean slab, nigga had a bad ass hoop super knocking. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of bread put up, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was having it, having it this way back then. You know what I'm saying? South Park was just like the, the mecca of this shit, man. It's I, it's a, it's another like two apartments that I always hear about. Why was the Orleans and VA the spot to go to back in? Like dead end, that whole dead end. You know what I'm saying? Everybody side. couldn't go there. Like it wasn't a spot to go to. It yeah. was a spot to go to for certain people. Yeah, that was in the streets and shit. Everybody couldn't just go to that bitch like that. Yeah, they gonna take everything you got. <laughs> yeah, especially that VA. But why? The why did make, why did make it so hard? Different. Why was it so hard to just go through that that neighborhood and, you know, the, the raw, apartments? Raw and rugged back then, man. Yeah. That shit the was like was the Carter or something. That shit was, man. That, that, that Esperanza and all that. Yeah. I remember I seen that smoke. Bah. 
<laughs> Drop to the ground. I'm Blood shoot everybody. I'm about six, seven meters old. Hey, I'm the first shit, motherfucker that's I seen with burglar balls and shit. Yeah, I was like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, is that's wrong. This? My mama so you had to kind of like have shit. a pass to go through them. You had to pick yeah, a pass. Yeah, you had to know you had to somebody, bro, over there. You couldn't phone. just be like, just dry going over there. Hell nah. Mm hmm. You have to know somebody over there, bro, especially in the DA. Yes, the so, means a little bit was different, you know what I'm saying? It was bigger. They had a stove. I mean, they had barbershop. They had everything <laughs> back then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Swimming pools and shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You used to go swimming yeah. in the leans, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then you go yeah. swimming in Kingsgate. They had a pool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. VA had a pool. You know what I'm saying? So other than, you know what I'm saying, South Park, where would y'all go? You know what I'm saying? You put you putting these cars together with all this money in there. What was the other spots y'all would hit? You know okay, what I'm it was always the Bullo, you know, in the 90s and all that. Mm-hmm. Once them 2000s hit, I'm going to say like that, 2001, 2002, it was all about going to Max's. Max's was at two locations. It was on West Time, and then it moved to West Time and Gessler. And that's when it started going down. But that was that year 2000 shit, man. During that time, the slab game had kind of like faded away in the 2000s. You know, it was, you know, the Monte Carlo had just came out, the Impala, the Yukon, the Tahoe, and all that. But then, you know, it was all about riding Twinkies, 22s, you know what I'm saying? Avalanche, sitting up high, looking down on both. We ain't give a damn about the slab no more. This shit was kind of fading away, bro. Why did it fade away? Cause because I ain't never spoke new cars, on that. The new car, that new line of Chevy drop. And, and GMC dropped, everybody wanted that. And that was new, and it was like that shit, that swanker shit kind of was like, it was cool. It was wearing out. It was wearing out. But I ain't gonna lie, 2002, that shit resurfaced. That's when Julio came around, everybody started going to him. I always heard 2000 kind of crunk back up because of Fish. He was one of the first people that went to Julio. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> it was funny how I met his ass. He had the park. Red, gray inside, four fifteens. Them V Sonics or whatever the fuck them bad ass wolf was done had did his trunk. Did some knocking all them off of I had the same car. My shit was just factory. You know what I'm saying? I was just gonna boat up, but I was just factory clean. And we was everybody used to go to this stove, Chevron, right on fifty nine and chimney rock. I mean fifty nine and Hillcroft. And uh, we used to call it the cornbread stove because it was near cornbreads, you know what I'm saying? So we called it the cornbread stove. Every Saturday, everybody going to meet up at that bitch, you know what I'm saying? After they leave Max's on West Time and Gessler, you know what I'm saying? So I'm parked at the gas pump. That boy pull up on me. But let that trunk up. Let that hoe go off with the trunk up. Then that boy close the trunk. Let that bitch go off some more, man. And that boy just creeped off, man. And I ran into him again. I'm like, damn, bro, why you doing me like that? I said, nah, I'll just fuck with you, man. I'll just fuck with you, man. I'll just fuck with you. I said, all right, man, we got cool and all that shit, man. Because we had all ended up. Because we didn't even know. Everybody didn't know each other on the scene back then. But this one night, we was all at Max's, man. And we was all coming through the lot, man. You know what I'm saying? We was in the dog. Nephew was in the in the dog, you know what I'm saying? We had one California dog and one Cobalt Blue dog. One out of Ike, one out of Julio, you know what I'm saying? Both of them trunks up. One South Bank All Star, one South Bank uh, G's. Nephew was South Bank G's. Ken was, you know what I'm saying? South Bank All Star. Six twelves, four fifteens. Both of them out of done, super knocking. So we all. Ran into each other in the parking lot, man, and just jumped out, bro. And we just all just start shaking hands, and we got all cool after that. It was the nigga from the north with that park, with the great kit, that the, all that knocking that hoe, and that gold nine eight tinted up with all that knocking that motherfucker, and fish them, and the dogs. We all collided. We all just jumped out and just started hollering at each other. We all got cool, and my boy Dayron from the from the tray had the nine eight. You know what I'm saying? Super knocking, 612, red, Julio, hold, popped up, everything, full of low. You know what I'm saying? We used to all ride together, you know what I'm saying? And Honey Bun John, you know what I'm saying? Had the great Delta, night it up, you know what I'm saying? That bitch went from gray and went red, and you know what I'm saying? The SA used to be with the Blue Pope, we used to all ride together. We used to hit that Metropolis on Thursdays, hit that Max's every weekend, Max's store, after, and then we go to Cornbread store. 
that's what everybody had. If you pulled out, you had to come to Cornbread Store with no, with no doubt about it. And that's when Fish and Tony collided. Tony Fish P. And Tony, Tony P. My nigga. They started breaking off each other, breaking off each other. They used to be right there up under the underpass, right there in front of the Chevron. That's where everybody do they breaking off it. That's where that shit started it. Fish started that shit. Fish used to just be buck wild, just breaking off anybody. You know what I'm saying? He had his little line. He had the DTS with the Davins on it at the time. And he had the park. Yeah, he just had them two, I think, at the time. That's when I first met him, you know what I'm saying? But he started that shit. You know what I'm saying? It was Fish and Tony P. Tony P had the black MC tinted up on fire. Them boys was, he used to call it the night ride, that boy. I'm about breaking up, I'm about breaking up. like, man, I'm about fool. Everybody just sitting up there, all the players, OGs up there, you know what I'm saying? Just sitting back and laughing at the shit. Like, look at these niggas, these niggas crazy motherfuckers breaking each other out. So, after that, man, the scenes, people started seeing that shit. Niggas breaking up, and then that shit just turns into what it is today. You know what I'm saying? But that's where that shit started at, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, niggas was doing that shit back then. Niggas was doing that shit in hoops, you know what I'm saying? Niggas were body rocking hoops. Tinted up nine two nine three nine four back in them years, uh, jumping the curb, riding niggas yard, no glass on that hole, nothing, just you know what I'm saying, nigga hitting the roof in that bitch, you know what yeah. I'm saying, nigga hitting that hole, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, coming through by the right, nigga all in the median and everything, that was that school zone era, you know what I'm saying, when them niggas doing that shit, mm -hmm. you had niggas coming through though, that was on that class too though, man. yeah, you know what I'm saying, holding like a motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm and then we get into the 2000 era. So when Tex and Wild Wheels kind of came into play, you know what I'm saying? How did that change, you know what I'm saying, the game? Because, you know, like you that say, when people really riding like that, and then Tex and Wild Wheels come along, you know what I'm saying? Then people start riding back again. So how did that Tex and Wild Wheels change the game? Yeah, they did. I ain't gonna lie, they changed the game completely. Because, you know, <laughs> even in the 2000s, it was still hard to get elbows in. You know what I'm saying? It was real hard to get that shit. Yeah. But, you know, as long as you knew somebody, somebody would get a set. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, niggas used to get sets and just had them all in the closet. Niggas was a live nigga off just having a set put up. Mm -hmm. That's how it was back in the game. Yeah. Your clientele went up and everything. You just had a set put up. Oh, you the man. Yeah. They're like, oh, that boy put up, man. That boy. Boy, I got a set. Boy, I got a glass set put up, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One of them holes need to be dipped, but that boy three, that boy got a set three put up, man. So when boys <laughs> was pulling out, you know what I'm saying, the first sets of 17s, first sets of gorillas, you know, I know boys I remember when I first seen the first set of 17, Bond had it on that 300. That 300 used to be black. We was all at Cairo. We come outside. Everybody fucked up. Cairo had them strong-ass drinks back then. We come out there just fucked up. I look. I said, what the fuck? What the fucking rim did? Because <laughs> I know Vols, you know what I'm saying? I used to be a 16-inch Vol rider, 17-inch Vol rider, disinvolved on it. So I'm like, man, I ain't no 15-inch Vol. I'm like, nigga, I'm 17-inch elbow. Everybody just start figuring it out. It was a big crowd around that car. Everybody like, niggas just, niggas rubbing their chin like, what the Fuck. You know what I'm saying? That shit was a trip. You know what I'm saying? I never forget it was at Cairo one night. I been sitting outside, black tinted up 300 on 17 inch ridges. Yeah. And it was yeah. Vaughn Carter that, that pulled that first car. I didn't know it at first, but I found out later on. Yeah. Okay, okay. And man, what was some of the you know first cars, you know, for the viewers out there, some of the first cars y'all pulled out? Man, I'm gonna be done had some shit. This man, he didn't have some shit. Man, shit. I was gonna pull out one of them Will Fan Buster Bodies. Start from the know? beginning, huh? Don't, don't let yeah, them people know yeah, from the beginning, you know, baby. Yeah, I'm starting from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out one of them Will Fan Buster Bodies. Yeah. Back in the day, man. Yeah. My first ride was a station wagon, but from now I got turned on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wanted the other shit like everybody else had. My first, you know, my. My next couple of four wheels were straight number jobs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of these boys was numbers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that shit, shit. was number job back then. I man. number something in a minute. I done got pulled over so many times. A lot of men say, this motherfucking immaculate condition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I be like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and my, shit. 
I first three or four calls with numbers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lax, uh, <laughs> Lax, Regals, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, yeah. you got it how you live. You know? From my understanding, yeah, you know, you were telling me right. before the interview that, you know, Fat Pat pulled out his Lincoln, but you pulled out a Lincoln, same color and everything, but a lot of people tell me that your car was cleaner than Fat Pat Lincoln. Man, I just, yeah, to me, I always looked at mine as a replica, you know what I'm saying? Because he was the one I wanted to come for. Mm -hmm. But before I could get to him, you know, tragedy hit. Mm -hmm. But I just felt like them niggas ain't like that shit, man. When I came out on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? They they offered me to be in a video shoot. They ain't show my shit in the video shoot. None of that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just that you're going to have that hateration. Shit. Mm -hmm. they, put, they put Snoopy now. You know what I'm saying? But all the scenes they had me to do yeah, it, I ain't, pet, I ain't, suit, yeah. They didn't, they, 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 they didn't show my shit, you know? Probably cause it was newer model, you know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> yeah. The motherfucking car won't never wear sand and buff. Mm -hmm. That came up out of Jack's, you know what I'm saying? Never wear sand and buff. Straight from Jack's to uh, Porsche place. Porsche place man, audio, I you know I what I'm saying? when I first rode in that motherfucker, man. Yeah. He was the first nigga that had that Alpine screen flip out radio, man. Yeah. Niggas was still dolphin radios, race cars, and all that shit. The little yeah. flip pioneer bullshit. Everybody was on you they, on saying? they, on they, you know what I'm saying? On who they, who they like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none of these niggas ever coming. That was old enough. What's up, Uncle D? What's this, bitch. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But here it is, over 20 years later, now I'm bringing it back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And all I got to say about that on the video action, shit, I might well just pop my trunk and say, please, please, no pictures. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. shit, them niggas ain't acknowledge me, man. I was a, I, like I said, I was a replica, man. You know what I'm saying? I did, I won't, oh, shit, I did the same thing they did. I did, you know, I sold shit, did this, did that. You hey, know what I'm saying? Was but a, I was a misdemeanor was a, nigga. Uh, well, your yeah. Lincoln was a Landu edition, huh? That was a Landu, yeah. Landu, yeah. It you had know? it stitched in the head. Yeah. With Landu, huh? I was 5.0 dual that I chipped that. So it was either highway or whatever they wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that, 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 like that I say, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? saying? Half the niggas that knew me, man, when no, I was in the game, I can't even tell you I spoke to them niggas. Man. You know what I'm saying? It's just that niggas be up under you for certain shit. Yeah. And I figure like when I come out this time, Nigga, ain't no need to just trying to get all up under me like we just cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. Got a bad machine coming soon, that, that, that slab game make them you know niggas change, man. Got two machines you know what coming soon, Can you man. speak about what you got coming out? Two mean machines yeah, coming soon, Yeah, yeah. I got a, uh, I got another one coming out. It'll be out for the summer. Mm -hmm. It's been in since April. Another Lincoln? Got another Lincoln coming. Okay. So, so... Anybody that want to know, anybody want to pull up on it, pull up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's yeah, it's candy fun. red. It's candy red. Suicide Dose. F-150 roof. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Al Ride. Yeah, boy, roll You know, so, you know what I'm I got to give it to my boy Bam on the north, Greenspoint. Mm -hmm. He looked out for me on the set of wheels. I really wasn't ready to buy now, but he just went on, looked out for me and sold me a set. The ones that I really wanted, and shit, that's that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I say, I don't care when it come out, I ain't putting it out to the summer. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be out soon, but I ain't putting it out to the summer. So, replica Uncle D coming back, straight like that. No video, straight up. You know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. how I feel about it. Yeah. But like I say, doing all these parts and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, I guess I'm gonna be showed off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Shh. I'm like, look at this bullshit. They ain't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't acknowledge a nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? When you when you got competition up against another nigga and don't look at it like that, that other nigga looking at it like that and they just, they just feel some type of way. Like, don't show this nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, show me. You know what I'm saying? But shit. I always heard it was cleaner than Fat Pat. Now everybody know Fat Pat for the Lincoln. When you see that Lincoln, you that think it's Fat Pat. Yeah. But see, they don't even know where that, that Lincoln even come from from the start of that Lincoln. Like that yeah. was that was car. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know that whole that, when that, it was that, a that Lincoln burgundy. Fat Pat had that was uh 
That was Kong called Dana went to Patrick Lemons and from Patrick Lemons it went to Fat Pat. Mm. Yeah. yeah 30s and Vogue's at first. Country had 30s and Vogue with a half a gold bond on that car. Yep. 30s yeah. and Vogue on that link. That whole was like brand new at that time. When they first, yeah. when they first got it. Once he got the Pat, it was, you know, it was yeah. late 90s. It was huge. Yeah. I remember the last time I seen Pat, man, he was in the Lincoln. I was on my way to Chimichan, me and my partner. Rest in peace, Duck. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Duck, man. We in his lap, he had a big fleet. You know what I'm saying? It was his brother. And uh, we get to the light. We coming from the dead end. We coming up the below. We get to the airport right there. He had the light. Him and his son. His son, maybe. That nigga had been probably about four, five years old. A little bit of nigga. That boy Pat was in that boy with just. Pa, 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 pa. I'm like, man, that boy Pat, man, oh, bitch, man. I looked at that boy, that boy looked at me, that boy gave me a clean point, man. That boy pulled off from the light, it was a pretty day, man. That Lincoln just crawled into the sunset, man. That was the last time I seen Pat Pat. Yeah. That, that Lincoln was hitting, though. Yeah. My team was slapping in that bitch.